Hey, how's it going guys? Jackie Man here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be doing another custom mod. This is the $1,400 gaming PC that's actually my desk at home. If you're a long time viewer of the Toasty Bros, you might've seen the original one. This one is a lot better. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. And if you're interested, use the link down below and buy the Windows 10 Pro activation using our code TB20 to get 20% off. All you have to do to activate Windows 10 license is buy the key by using code TB20, and then throw the Windows 10 key into your Windows 10 activation on the system you wish to install it in, and boom, you have activated Windows 10, and you no longer have to look at that horrible watermark in the bottom right corner. So thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring this video. Let's get right into the video, shall we? So basically what we mean by an in-desk PC is instead of having an actual PC case sitting on top of your desk, we actually integrated the desk and the case together. So it's basically like an all-in-one desk where the PC is one with the desk, which they actually sell some things that are kind of similar to that. And they cost a lot of money. So this actual mod was way more cost effective. And if you're able to get access to tools or just be able to be handy and do stuff like this, then you can easily do it and save a ton of money. So for the budget, we actually only needed about $100 to be able to do the whole entire desk itself because, well, it's basically just plywood and some four by fours. That was really it. And then add some stain on top of it. And moi, you have a beautiful all-in-one desk piece. Wow. So basically in this video, I already had the desk built, but I'm going to be upgrading everything that is involving the PC and also just giving the PC an overall better enclosure because the original one was complete garbo. So it's time to fix that. Let's get into it. Right now. Right now. We already did actually, but right yeah. now. Right now. <laughs> Reverse. Wicked, right. wicked. We're actually gonna be um, just doing like some slight upgrades, but one of the biggest parts that I'm excited about is basically rebuilding this bottom half, which I have not shown off much because I'm not proud of it. This was built like with spare parts pretty much. Um, and as you can see, like, there's like a RGB strip. As you can see, there's like a lighting strip just kind of hanging out of here. I actually got RGB fans this time. So basically, I have everything sitting on an actual motherboard tray, um, and then it's just sitting on a pretty thin piece of wood uh, that's screwed in and everything. And then all that stuff is screwed into like individual planks. So the main concept here is that I'm going, and also the back is uh, not there, like there's just no back. So main concept is it's still gonna be pretty similar. I'm gonna redo the whole bottom, probably with some thicker wood, and then I'm gonna make sure that the back's actually enclosed to the power supply and the all new, which I'll get to this in a minute, but the all new 240 millimeter liquid cooler is actually going to be right over here on the right side of the PC with RGB fans uh, facing outwards or inwards. Not really sure which way I'm gonna do it yet, but instead of using multiple uh, pieces like this. It's gonna all just be, you know, single boxed in uh, plywood. And I'll make sure that I stain it and everything. Um, I might, I'll probably still have like just one fan over here. So basically it'll be like the um, radiator on this side with intake. And then I'll probably have like one exhaust fan or maybe two just to match uh, in the middle. And then the power supply and the hard drives and stuff um, in SSD, because I have a couple over here, are gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna box them off. They're gonna have like their own little separate uh, compartment kind of like a power supply basement in a way so it'll basically just be like a, a normal standing upright uh, you know desktop PC case except you know it's downwards into my desk so we're gonna make sure that we uh, separate the power supply just to make it look a little bit cleaner it'll also help with thermals you know just not having everything in the same uh, part and also my acrylic panel actually broke because a cat that I'm not gonna tell the name of uh, decided to sit on top of it so we're also gonna get like a thicker uh, acrylic piece cut and um, I'm likely, before I had little brads, which are basically just really small nails, uh, holding it in, which if I can focus, you can see. And so I'm actually gonna go back through and I think I'm gonna use um, either like angle brackets or just small pieces of angle iron to go along the whole entire edge so that this thing is just overall more sturdy. So for the upgrades though, and this is what I'm excited about because the overall price of this, which is probably really hard for you guys to see, but $1,400. So $1,300 for the actual pricing of the parts and that's with newer parts too i i uh, did the budget with the 2060 super i did the budget with um g skill trident z rgb 32 gigs of ram at 3600 megahertz this stuff's older so i i basically did like a price match of what's a lot better and more current a b450 uh max motherboard instead of this older x370 uh, pretty similar power supply and um you know similar storage and everything but basically i included these upgrade parts in the price so 
five pack of RGB fans, or it might be a six pack, not really sure. There's not very many options right now with everything going on. This right here is a PCI USB 3 adapter. So basically um, the, I'm gonna have one extra lane of USB 3 ports, about four ports. So that'd be nice to have because as you can see, I'm getting kind of low on ports at times. So I just wanna go ahead and be kind of future proof and it's simple and easy to install, no extra external power required. Right here, we have some black individual sleeved cables which came in a pretty nice looking box. It's very, they're hefty too. These are like the heaviest ones I felt. So that's cool. And then we have the Deepcool Captain 240 RGB. Very excited about this because this just looks so cool to me and I'm excited to see like, I don't know if maybe you actually put a sea liquid moving through there, but I would be very hyped if you can. And then the icing on top, the Ryzen 3700X. So that'll be replacing my 1800X, which is definitely getting outdated now. Still a great processor though. Um, and so like I said, I price matched everything. The total for the PC parts was around $1,300 um, and there's links and everything, which those will be down in the description below. There are affiliate links, so please use those because they do help us out. And then I also budgeted in the upgrades and everything. And like I said, $1,300 total. And then I budgeted about a hundred bucks. If you guys at home want to actually try to attempt to build a desk like this, all it is is four by fours. These are actually treated ones, which were way too much, but that's all they had at the time. And then literally you can buy an eight by eight or eight by 10 foot um, you know, section of plywood. This is half inch thick. Uh, and then just sand it, stand it yourself, cut it to size. You can have Lowe's or Home Depot even cut it for you most of the time. Um, and that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's not the sturdiest setup. The four by fours do help a lot. Um, I mean, I really can't move it much just by wobbling it, but you know, it, it's a pretty good looking desk though. It's six feet long exactly. So it's, it's you know, it's not like the Ikea eight foot or nine foot desk, but this is like more than plenty for me. And I have, these are 32 inch monitors by the way. So they're definitely some pretty, pretty big boy monitors. So um, what we're gonna go ahead and do first is just get all this uh, disassembled because like I said, we're basically only going to rebuild the PC um, case outside of the actual computer. Cause I just have a screw here, a screw back here, one over here and then one under this mouse mat, basically holding the whole entire computer on. So like I said, we're gonna take this whole entire part off. We're gonna rebuild the PC on its new platform um, and then put new walls on it. And then we're basically just gonna screw it back in. Then I just gotta slap that acrylic panel back on um, with all the new parts and then we're good to go. So now we have some better lighting. I'm just gonna show you guys once again, what exactly this looked like. So this is literally exactly how I pulled it off the desk. Just pulled these four screws out and ta-da, this is what you have. It is, it is not well put together at all. Um, it was basically being held by uh, just little, I guess you would call them like one by fours or maybe one and a half by fours. Um, and like I said, it's just because it was one of those things where I built it really, I'm one of those people when I get my mind set to something, I built it very late at night, probably two or three years ago now. So it was one of those things where I told myself this was temporary and I was gonna fix it, but you know, that's, you know how that goes two or three years later. You know, we're, we're gonna make it look cool though. So let's, let's go ahead and do some more planning and just see where we can go from there. super stoked to see how awesome this freaking desk turned out. It really didn't take me too long either. It only took me about an afternoon to do everything and to get everything stained. So it looks really good. The temperatures are amazing, by the way. I know some of you have already wondered what type of temps it gets. Well, in gaming and everything, even on the 3700X, I usually keep it below 70C. So pretty darn good for that AIO. And it's also very quiet, doesn't ramp up or anything. So very, very excited about it. Shout out to our friends at Deepcool. They make some good stuff. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, subscribe, like, comment down below. If you haven't checked out our other channels, uh, Toasty DOI and Toasty Clips, definitely check those out. And also follow us over on Twitch. We stream every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, and it's a lot of fun extra content. If you love the Toasty Bros, you should definitely be following over on Twitch. And if you actually want to buy any of the PC parts or any of the other stuff that I was using in this video, use the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so they do help us out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Ho, ho.